Okay. Um, I've never actually had trouble with this level. I'd just like to point this out, probably because most of the time I played it on easy. Um, but now, this level is fucking rinsing me. This is actually my fifth attempt at this level. I kid you not. I'm playing on hard mode. It's not crazy, man. But I'm still on my fifth attempt at this because... It's, it's literally, you get hit by one missile, you die. It's bullshit, too. Um, the damage output from those missiles has, seems to be just, like, over the damn top. It's really ridiculous. So again, having to pick up the shrooms mode, and it is very annoying, and having to show off all of its mechanics is also very annoying because it can also get you killed. As you can see, it turns all the enemies psychedelic and whatnot because it's literally the effects that that magic mushrooms has on the brain. Or at least it's what the developers perceive as the effects of magic mushrooms on the brain. Um, but yeah, it's pretty fucked up. It's one of the two power downs of the game. Um, unless there's like another power down that I've completely and utterly forgotten about, but those are the only two that I'm currently aware of. Um, thankfully the power downs do not last anywhere near as long as the, uh, power ups. I think the power ups are supposed to last, I want to say, somewhere in the vicinity of about 30 seconds. Um, but the, uh, power downs are supposed to only be, like, uh, 20. So, thankfully, that's one positive thing about the power ups, is they don't last quite as long. Anyways, the ank symbols I picked up here... Uh, look like the regular ones, but they actually looked a little bit more solid, and I think they had a bit of a different color to them. Those are the fibers. Yay, I managed to get that out of the way. Um, last uh, three attempts, I got a heat seeker out of that. Not that it actually matters, because I'm going to drop the bazooka right here in order to pick up the flame wall, which, uh, while the firebomb is my favorite weapon, this comes in a very close second, and it's probably considered to be the best weapon of the game. And I will make an attempt to show it off here, but I'm not going to make any promises, because... Um, this area was asked, is asked to get through, especially with the setup. Um, there is a single missile... There's a single bazooka wielding lightning guard on both sides. Like, it doesn't matter which way you go, you're getting a... You're going to have to fight a bazooka wielding lightning guard. So, I'm going to try to draw those two fellows out. I think I got the one on the right. Um, ugh. I'm sick of having to redo this segment. Uh, da, 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 da. What pissed me off the most about him shooting the rocket there was the fact that I was actually shooting at him and for some reason he still managed to get the hit in on me. That's the thing that pisses me off. That guy, I think, just got himself killed. Thankfully, though, there is a bunch of priest porridge around the place, so I'm not uh, short on health. Um, let me take care of these two fellows. Can you die? Why are enemies taking more shots than usual to kill? Did I accidentally bloody switch to crazy man when... I have no idea. It's so stupid. I could have sworn I set this thing to play on hard mode. Um, if I've set it to play on crazy, man, then I guess if I've beat the episode, then I suppose that's a positive thing. I mean, I'd never intended to play this game on crazy, man, but if I beat it, then yay. Um, but yeah, in all honesty, there's... there's... Okay, so, um, the last attempt I actually managed to get... I think past the big ass fucking flame wall, wall of fire, or something like that. Um, you'll know the one I'm talking about if you've played this game. Okay. Um, okay, I think I got rid of the high guard there. Okay, are there any more enemies in this area? There's just, okay, it looks like there's just a strike team. Okay, cool. Um, now there is a wall that I want to push here somewhere. Unless I can't push it. I think I might have to go back to the start of the level and push that. Um, I'm going to show this off because it's kind of an obscure sort of secret. Um, yeah, if I push this in some direction, yeah, this way, uh, then I think I want to 
do that, which nets you that. And then there's the bazooka there. Not that I need it, because I've still got the flame wall. I think if I go back, I should be able to push a wall here and get another pathway into this area. Because when I hit a switch on the other side of this room, uh, I'm going to end up inadvertently blocking my access to this area. Um, so all i got to do now is work out which wall i got to push. Oh, I could have sworn it was one of these walls. Unless I screwed it up. I, I could have screwed it up right. Oh, this is so stupid. Oh well, whatever. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna fuss over it too much because it's just wasting time. Uh, crush a trap. Just random crush a trap. They do pretty much what they say on the tin. They crush you, and they are not very nice. Anyways, um, time to show off what the flame walk can really do. Oh, the wipeout is real. Give me that. Anyways, um, this is how I roast people. I don't need words, I have a flame wall. Um, and I think there's a drunk missile in a hidden wall if I push this column and then crush this that opens up a touch plate and then that happens there. Then there's a bulletproof armor which would have been lovely against the lightning guy that had a bazooka except for the fact that the lightning guy had a bazooka. Um, which meant asbestos armor was so much better in that situation but apparently the game's just like, no. Yeah, it works like any other um, rocket if uh, if you can I get in? Yay. Can I get them all? Yay. And it ran out. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, it works like any other rocket if it comes into contact with an enemy, but if it hits the ground, it goes into flames and shit like that, and it's epic, and it turns it, things into charred bones, which you can then bury to get, like, 275 prayer XP per bone buried. I'm not even sure if burning bones even nets you prayer experience or if you can even bury burn bones. Yay, alliteration. Um, now, I don't believe we're running into another lightning guard that's packing the um, bazooka until uh, just a tad later on. It was just after that moving bunch of firewalls. Like these, but they're moving. <laughs> like this! Anyways, I think there is actually a bazooka guy. Yeah. I was wondering, wait, there is another bazooka guy here, isn't there? Yes, yes there is. Anyways, move in here. Um, this is entirely pointless. I could have easily skipped this, but whatever. They're going to might as well show off that you can get in here. And, oh, I actually, I actually thought that was the um, machine gun, the high guard drop. That's actually a machine gun that's already there. So I guess it is useful if you're starting this level from a pistol start and haven't yet got the uh, machine gun. Anyways, um, thankfully this does not go all the way into that pathway. It would be very annoying if it did. Okay, now. No, no, fuck you. Fuck you. You fucked me over on the last attempt. It's what made me uh, cut the recording out because I had like, like my last four failures I just did without stopping the recorder. And so I had about 23 minutes worth of failure and I'm like, get the fuck. I was pretty triggered at that point though, to be fair, because I got sick and fucking tired of getting rockets shoved up my ass. Again and again and again, and that guy was doing his gimmick, and that guy just got stood on. If that guy shot a rocket at me, I'd have been more than fucked. Um... Okay, thank god that door didn't close. Shame he didn't get affected by that, um, thingy. Okay, I have a bunch of space here, so I should be right to dodge any uh, missiles that come my way, unless it was from this fellow, because again, he would have just rinsed me. Okay, cool. And I cooked that uh, priest borrowed, so I'm stuck on 100 health, so I should be right. Now, um, can I get to this? Got it. Oh, and I caught the right as well. Good job. Okay. Yeah. You can kind of tell. Let's have a look at this dead sprite here, and let's take a look at one of the uh, dead bodies here. Yeah, you can quite clearly tell that there is a difference, so I'm just going to go all like that. 
and then I'm just going to go all like of this, like of this, like of this, and then that. And then where's the touch plate? Uh, where is the touch plate? Where's the touch plate? There it is. Okay, uh, TNT boxes, those were in the previous level, but they're not there anymore, and for some reason you're in there. And uh, before we go into that exit, we're going to quickly take a look in here. Hope to God that there are no lightning guards with bazookas. Looks like it's just strike team and high guard. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and throw a save here. Because I don't want to get screwed over by all the... Uh, thank you. Okay, now back to the game. Because uh, there's a lot of spin blades and we're not entirely sure if there are enemies here or not. So I'd rather not take that risk. I don't think that there is. Uh, ah, damn it. That's no good. Uh, uh, okay. Ah, you know what? Fuck it. I'm just going to restore the game because I do not want to lose that much health. This is the most unprofessional thing, but I'm not very professional to begin with, so it's not like it actually matters. Okay, so I did fall for the trick. One side is actually deeper than the other. There we go. We have a secret exit. So we're actually, I lied, we're not actually going into that exit, we're going into this one, the secret exit. And because I'm going to try to cut down on video size, this is just going to be the only level for this segment. So we're going to go ahead and do the secret exit next time, which is... Wall to wall. And there's like an enemy. So you can die. And if you have a bazooka, that's one less bazooka guy I have to worry about in the next segment. So, see you next time.